Welcome back to another Coldheim traditional draft. Appreciate you. Come on, let's go. One more. Oh, the way our forefathers would have wanted. Yeah, that's... I'm like, oh, if you're not going to raise the minimum rate, minimum rage. Oh, hinge gate pathway, eh? Path to the world tree. Poison the cup and feed the serpent. Struggle. I kind of just want a path, guys. I think we're pathing to the world tree. First picking it, no less. What do you do about that? Oh, I like a Draugr's Helm. I also like a Vega again, but we're not Vegaing again. I think if I feed the Serpent's good too. Oh, Behold? We're gonna Behold. Let's not even, let's not beat around the bush. How are you gonna brag about your forefathers when Mike doesn't even have one? <laughs> Well, you know what they say. Interesting. Snow-covered forest. I think now we're taking the feed the serpent. I, I If these were dual lands, I would 100% jump on them. But right now, thank you. I just want to take the cards that make our deck good. Oh, MTG Packer with the sub? Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, buddy. An old man like me really appreciates a sub from you. You young kids. Uh, happy birthday. Um, so I don't actually want a planes. It's not ideal. Hmm. I mean, Carfell Harbinger actually helps cast both of these. It's not terrible. This pack isn't great to begin with, so. I don't foresee us kin seeking. Sure, I'll take the cheap one three. Atale. <laughs> Atale. Oh, good times. Good times. Oh, see, a Rhymewood Falls. Now that's what we're talking about. I like Sculptor and I like Augury Raven, and I hope one of them comes back, or Priest. But yeah, give me the yeah, give me the dual land for sure. I don't hate a snow-covered mountain. I also don't mind an Elder Fang Disciple. Actually, we got Path of the World Tree, so we're going to be getting different lands. We'll take a we'll take a snow-covered Montana. I almost forgot how to draw snow. You just take them all. Atali, when you're here, you're family. It's not delivery. It's Atali. Oh, I like a snow-covered swamp bay. Do you guys call them swamps or swamp bays? It's I, I, I never knew. Caraba's Italian Grill, a tale as old as time. God, I'm really wondering what this Johnny is. Johnny Caraba and his uncle. Da when Johnny Caraba and his uncle Damian Mandola <laughs> opened the first Carabas, they spent months perfecting their family's recipes, ensuring each and every entree was just right. There's a reason why some of our most iconic dishes, like spaghetti and meatballs or lasagna, have been on the menu since day one. But Day more one. than just using family recipes, we also treat our guests like family. And sometimes that means sending you home with something special for tomorrow. Wonderful. Just like Johnny's grandmother, Mama Mandola would have. It is my pleasure to keep this tradition going by offering, by offering the opportunity to bring homemade home 
Join us for dinner and you can take home your choice of any entree with super salad for just $10. Come in and see what the true Italian hospitality feels like. Ask me by name when you visit. Russell Prowler, proprietor of Caraba's Italian Grill. It's fucking beautiful, man. Thank you. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful story. Um, I like Elder Hall. The problem is, how many how many town plans are we going to have in this deck? We're going to be non-white. No, we got to be white, I guess, for this stupid idiot. Yeah, you guys didn't have... We didn't have Carabas in Seattle when I was there. It was real sad. Carabas is one of my favorite Italian restaurants. It's a chain, but it's still pretty banging. I'll take the Elder Hall. It's probably better than the stupid... Ba Vega came back? Vega come back? I mean, it's the best card in the pack. By a sizable margin, so we're just going to take it. Maybe we'll see what happens. Take this guy. I don't think the other ones are that exciting. We're low-key building a, a, a Fortel deck in the sideboard. Wow, this is all terrible. Undersea Invader, you're not the worst. Mystic Reflection, you're not great, though. So that's, that's where I'm at right now. I like Lajara Mirror Lake, but... I feel like we're almost priced into taking the snow forest right now. But the thing is, we don't have actual snow lane. We have no snow perks right now. Squash is also good. Vengeful Reaper good. I think they made their noodles, but I'm unsure. I don't think it's this. It's got to be. It's, it's either this or this or this, right? And we got that Vega in the sideboard. I'm going to take the Reaper. Oh, another path? See, now they're just giving them to me. That's an easy pick. Double path. Oh, so Packmate? Shoot. Okie dokie. Well. I did some dumb things with Dwarf Reinforcement and the Reflection one time, but that card is terrible, unfortunately. It's not ideal. There's definitely some some shenanigans that can be done, but I feel like that can be said with a lot of things. And shenanigans don't necessarily make it good. A second Vega. A second Packmate as well. And a Sulfurous Mire? Oh boy, this is actually a pretty good pack. We can even take the, the Furia. We're not going to cast multiple spells. This is basically a 2-4 Flying Lifelink for 5. I think we're just Packmate. <laughs> I mean, we also literally could just be blue, black, splash, uh, or black, green, splash, blue for the, for the behold here, right? And then we can still get other lands with our, with our path to the world tree if we need it. Snow covered plains, huh? Well, that's unexciting. Eh. Eh. I don't think it's good. <sighs> to be fair, none of these cards are actually great for us. Whatever, I'll take the stupid plains. Remember that strategy about taking the black and green cards? Yeah, it's not going great. Frost Peak Yeti? Sure. <laughs> not a big fan of it. <sighs> Alpine Meadow. Sure, I'll get an Alpine Meadow. This guy only gets basics, right? Sure. I still feel like there's potential to get some get some snow payoffs. Some snow offs, if you will. I'll take Shadow. Oh, look, the Mystic Reflection came back. Man, people got no respect.
I, I felt like our last deck was going to 0-3. We 2 one which I'm very, very okay with. But now, I feel like this deck is probably closer to the to the 0-3. Oh, well, I think we probably got 1-2, right? You don't get to the third round and not win that. That would just be silly. Second Vega came back, huh? You know what? Sure. What the hell? Uh, we also have double scorned effigy. We have vengeful reaper. Master scald is interesting. Behold. Double pack mate. Oh, calamity bearer is pretty banging. Third pack mate. Veil snow covered mountain. I think we got to pass the Calamity Bear for Packmate number three. That seems real sweet. Snow <sighs> Covered Island. What is this deck? <laughs> what is this nonsense? Oh my god. It's gotta be poison the cup, right? Yeah, let's take poison the cup. It's on color. Let's go for it. Blood on the snow? Yeah, we're just taking blood on the snow. Another pack mate though. Jeez. How much one we got? One, two. Okay, we're definitely getting rid of this idiot. I think we're trying to be three colored. I think we're I think this is where we want to be. Maybe. Four pack mate? Is it just four pack mate or is it blood in the snow? It's gotta be blood in the snow. It kills, it, it kills creatures. Graven lore? Oh my god, I'm getting excited here, guys. This is wild. Yeah, we're definitely taking graven lore. It's just draw three. Huh. Actually, snow covered planes is fine. It gives us a planes and it's also good for path. We wanna be able to activate our paths. So this is 22 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 lands. So we need 7 playables, huh? I mean, it's possible. <laughs> it's not It's not ideal. How's our curve looking? These are all 4 drops, but a lot of them are not 4 drops. Let's take Mistwalker here. Oh, Volatile Fjord seems nice. No red cards yet. But this does let us play things that we might otherwise not be able to. Snowfield Sinkhole. I'm in, especially because it's an on-color land. Also, we're getting to a point where we have like one, two, three white lands by themselves. Which means we might just be able to play the Vegas. I'll take a Morit. Morit? Mor Morite? Morite. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, I'll take an Augur Raven, sure. Oh, wow, another Augur Raven. I actually don't understand what's going on with these guys. But I feel like we just got rewarded. Blizzard Brawl? Snow-covered swamp that late? Oh my god. Snow-covered plains? Grim Draugr? Sure. I don't even know what's going on right now. What is this deck, dude? How many cards is this? 38? So, with the two Vegas, we got the 40... <laughs> Wow, that's actually pretty insane because you just pick up two Argravens, three Pack Wolves, a Turgrid Shadow, a Vengeful Reaper. We can take 
If I take Valkyrie, actually, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have nine Snowlands. That's actually really good. We're definitely playing two Vegas. Like, it's just... <laughs> it's not even a question, really. This is this is this is pretty wild. I mean our rules also not bad. We got Shadow, we have Feed the Serpent, Vengeful Reapers, basically rule, Poison the Cup, Blizzard Brawl, Wither Crown. This is pretty good. So we have Blue, black, green are the most. We have no red cards. But we're just going to keep the snow-covered mountain in for the path. And then we also evolve a Fjord and Alpine Meadow, which are our on color. I'm going to use this stupid thing now. What do we have? For white, we have one, two, three, four white. Blue, we have one, two, five. Black, we have one, two, three, four, four. Uh, I definitely don't want to play a double blue card over a mono black removal card. Plus, we only have 13 creatures, so I'm not going to, like, hope that I have one of my 13 creatures that is even worth copying. Like, if we, I don't, I don't want to copy a Frost Pig Yeti or a vengeful reaper i mean like what's the best thing we're copying like one sorrel's pack mate like for double blue it's not ideal especially when we have three uh four five blue sources i mean we have to draw 40 percent of our, our blue sources i mean don't forget path is going to fix this too so the paths also should count as as fixing here we're black we have one two three four four black Red, we have three. It doesn't really matter. And green, we have one, two, three, four, five. So we have four, five, four, five is our mana base. Not great. I would actually take one of the whites out, but like, I think having just two snow covers is just fine. I think we're taking one blue out for a sixth green because we want to be able to hit paths and Sorolf's pack mates. Don't need white, actually. So two islands. This deck looks comical. But I mean, like, let's, like, what do we have? Like, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine foretell cards for Vegas. That's I mean that seems pretty good. I mean, given we can get our lands in this deck, I think we're actually gonna do fine. Deck's very powerful. And make sure this is 17 lands. Yep. Alright. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, this is a keep. <laughs> I mean, it's two lands, but we already have these two. We can already cast both of them off of the Rhymewood Falls. Plus, we have a Blizzard Ball. Plus, on turn three, this guy could get another land for us. Could get tap land. Like, could not need a land because of that. If we hit a white source next turn, we're definitely just going to go uh, Vega. And then if we hit another land, like, then we can just go pack mate into Augur Grave and draw two cards. That seems pretty good. Let's hold on to that. Um, sure. Just maximize the snow lands here. I 
I see you, bro. Oof. That's actually... Oh, that's actually not as good as I wanted it to be. Because we need double white. I guess it's still fine. Like, we want a Blizzard Brawl. And our only blue is attached to this. So we can't go blue, white, land, Vega, and also Blizzard Brawl. And we do con con control three snow permanents. What we can do... Yeah, this is actually pretty good. We're gonna... Kill that dude. Suspend a raven. And then next turn we can go Vega, bring raven out if we hit a blue. <laughs> okay, attack my 4-0. Sure. Got it. We did not draw the thing. I mean, next turn we can play a Raven and play Valkyrie. Draw a card. tell something 80 percent of the time when people are uh paying two mana they're foretelling something so oh we played that i don't think that's better though i mean i have access to eight mana now Nice. So we're just a mirror match. Just that guy, huh? No blocks. One, two. So we can pump twice, six, and, and there's 11 damage in there. Plus, we can play Raven. Hmm. One, two, three, four. I mean, let's lead with a Raven, I guess. Draw a card. Okie seems good. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna do some shenanigans, huh? Uh-huh. Yep. You got it. Now they take two instead of eleven. Or nine. Seems good.
Do you think they have a trick here? Fingers crossed. Sure. That seems fine. <laughs> we drew like three cards off those guys. So we can behold, we can play Valkyrie. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they can activate Path here and kill Vega. That is unfortunate. Wow. Really all the eggs in one basket there. Saying. So three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They have twelve mana. I druid crassus, where are you at? cards to our 24 again an opponent who draws an extra six cards than us so it's a lot of glittering frosts Two. We can pump this for. We can attack for eight here. Nine, ten, eleven, huh? Yeah, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is four. Six. Three, four, five. Three. One, two, four, six, eight. 12. Let's see what we got here. Oh, a Vega. Oh my god. Really hate this game. <laughs> That's amazing. That's likely going to cost us the game now. Wow. That's 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 incredible. So now we have to block here and we take 3 4 5 6 7. Wow. That's awesome. Or not. Uh, yeah, I mean, they have two cards, so they're probably going to find exactly that. <laughs> sure. Fucking amazing. Well, I just have all the lands of the world. One, two, three, four, five, six. A snow land. Nope, that's not a snow land. So we'd be at seven instead.
One, two, three. We can pump this to eight. And that does nothing. Definitely keeping feed the serpent. We got four. Guess we're not dead. <laughs> Do we have to literally block everything? No. They're in top deck mode, though. Does that mean anything? Maybe. They get to kill a land. Fine, right? Oh, they get to put a land into play. Sure. Yep. That is fine. Again with that guy holding back, huh? Okay. No holding back. Yep. Fuck. I drew run amok. Wow. <laughs> then they get to draw three fucking cards, dude. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yep, that'll do. Oh, cool. Nice draws. It's really frustrating. Sure. Opponent is actually Yugi. <laughs> See, that's funny. Yeah, just just banishing people to the Shadow Realm, that's all. Like you do. Like you do. And this hand seems fine, right? Scry for a million. For Graven Lore. Scry for a draw three. And this card's an instant, man. That's good stuff. You got it. Good one, Wolfman. Um, well, I don't think they're gonna... Got he. I thought you were making the Yugi reference because their name was It's Time to Duel. Oh, good. How nice. Mm, yeah. 
Well, I'm tempted to just feed the serpent here. Plus one, plus one counter. They really did. God, the heart of the cards are so real for them. Okay, okay. I have three of these. You wouldn't believe it from from here, but I, I promise you I do. I mean, we don't have any one drop, so there's no point in casting this on our turn. We can keep up Poison the Cup. What is this one? Red, huh? You got one blue. You can disdainful stroke me. Don't stroke me, bro. Charizard James, I knew. I knew, buddy. I've seen you around campus. <laughs> From the cool stuff email. Uh, yep, that's what I was hoping you wouldn't have, because that was, that's cool to just have it on turn six. I don't believe you. That's fine. That's fine. I I've been known to stretch the truth every once in a while. Okay. Hmm. Well, kind of want lands here. I can go Vega Poison the Cup? Don't care about you at all. Opponent has a creature. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to have one, two, three, four. We're going to have five. And then they're going to get one. They're going to go seven. They're going to have two beefy boys. I think we just have no choice but to keep all three of these. Is it now? I, I don't want to incriminate myself. Let's get this red doodad here and play this little biscuit. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We really want to hit a land here. Oh, we have a land. So they're gonna get one, one trolley boy. I need a third black here for this to really, to really, really do the deed, huh? I guess we should have played the Fjord. I don't know why I played that. So we're going to go one, two. Actually, one, two, three. Actually, what we can do is poison the cup, the big idiot. One, two, three, four. And then shadow next turn. Well, we don't need the... Okay, we don't need the triple black regularly. Just right now, in this one situation. We could probably... We could probably spread it out a little bit. I'm trying to figure out what the best course of action is here. We're probably going to poison this guy. We'll take three. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you're just getting one troll. Okay. Oh, Blizzard Brawl and Mistwalker. Oh, we can Blizzard Brawl our Vega. Oh, that seems good. <laughs> Oh, but then we still get that. We still gotta sacrifice it, so that's not. That doesn't change anything, I guess. Hey, okay, windy boy. Well, I'm still gonna kill all your creatures, so. Um.
So now we got one, two, blue. Big og. That seems pretty good. We're on even footing now, and I feel like... Well, they got four cards to our three cards. We have a Behold and a Vega. Okay, they got a Bulb as well. Actually dying over here. I'm glad. I'm glad I can bring joy to you with uh, with these small moments of Necropotence mana. We have a good time. <laughs> Is this still draft one? Why do you, you have to take a call at like 11 p.m.? Are you on weird hours again? Because like Japanese teams or something? This is this is draft two. We went two one in our first draft. How to call people in Europe? All right, makes sense now. Five color necropones is no fetches. Yeah, but you draw as many cards as you need, so what's the problem? Is this, where's this long hair coming from? The other side. I don't even know what's going on here. It's midnight. You can't have too high of expectations here. I like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This guy's actually problematic to deal with right now. Except for the fact that they don't have mana to pump it. <sighs> Boy. Oh, yeah, you're a... Uh you're a Florida native. I was a Florida native. I think we got a Behold here, and I don't love it. Um, I don't want to use the black. Well, feed the serpent and poison. I think all removal is gone, so that's unfortunate. One, two, um, three. Four. Actually, we don't need the white for anything, right? Is that four? One, two, that's five. Eh, God. One, two, three, four. Wow, two of those can go away. That's satisfying. Oh, blood on the snozzles? One, two, three, four. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Far Elder Hall. No, we're not attacking because if they have any way to remove Pack Mate, then we're just absolutely dead. All right, one, two, three, four. They attack for nine? Yeah, that's not, not the best. But Blood on the Snow, however. Well, I guess this guy goes to a million. I guess we needed it last turn. That's one answer, I guess. Actually, have to block or else we take one, two, three, four, five, six. Vengeful Reaper, huh? What do we want back here? It's literally just like Sorolf's pack mate, which is not an option. Okay. Also, three cards die, so they're gonna get a, to draw three more. That's is this is great. This is just working out very very well. One two three four five six seven. One two three. Don't have that. Hmm. Well. James, have a good night, buddy. Appreciate you stopping by, my dude. Um. One two three four five six seven eight nine. We have 10 total mana. This is 7 to activate. This is 6, but then this guy lives. They draw a bunch of cards. Don't really want that. Oh, I do like Wither Crown. I don't like how it always uses my black mana, though. So that's cool. Wow, that's really unfortunate. We have 12 cards, they have 19. Oh, I think we're dead, right? We just block here and they kill us. Yeah, because they, yeah, they use the fucking, that's amazing. Sweet. Thanks for using, this is the second time they've used all of our black mana and it screwed us. That's literally amazing. We could not cast Poison the Cup when we needed it to prevent six damage and we could not cast Wither Crown that turn. 
So that's good times. Well, we got two games left, my dudes. What can you do? Um, fuck. Two drop, two drop. Two drop that gets his land, two drop. Yeah, I'm going to keep it. We're going to risk it. One land puts us into... Even if it takes us an extra turn. Like, Path of the World Tree lets us... Uh, I don't think it's, I, I really don't think it's that greedy of a keep. Of all the one land keeps, like, this is literally four cards I can interact with. Like, there you go. Nailed it. I hope you draw the lands you need. NZ, me too, buddy. Me too. Oh boy, that guy's really living the dream here. Oh boy, that was a perfect land. Holy smokes, man. Good gravy. Sun and the moon. Oh no. We can actually go get a second black with Path of the World Tree, then put Turgid Shadow on the. Hmm. Yeah, you're just putting all your eggs in one basket now, my dude. I mean, your basket came down on turn one, and it's a 4 5 angel now. But, you know, nevertheless. Hmm. I mean, now now they're just going to sack these two shitters, so that's not great. <laughs> I think we just want pack bait again. Like, we just want to get deeper into the deck. Like, we're looking for a feed the, feed the serpent, we're looking for a poison. Wither crown might... No, that literally removes one power. That's unfortunate. All right, we got three turns, two turns, draw, go to five, draw, go to one, draw, three turns. Sounds good. Well, that's got one card in hand. Come on, man. This is brutal. So if we have a fifth land here, and we go path next turn for a sixth land, we can play whatever we draw. So I think it's probably just best to maximize our board here. We can't even pump this once. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I guess this is the play. Next time we go path, we get a swamp. And... Uh, if we draw Feed the Serpent, we can play it. We can also put Poison in the Cup, so. Are we going to lose to this fucking one Battlefield Raptor? That's pretty comical. I mean, I'm real tempted to block here. <laughs> It buys us another turn, and, like, he's not doing us any favors. Like, we're not going to get through. We're not racing here. Denver tonight is about... Alexa, what's the temperature? It was really nice today. It was, like, 55. She's not going to answer, I guess. One, two. Well, we don't have the second blue, and we need a second black. So this is awkward. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm gonna take the black here. Play the swamp. Play Glady Boy. I 
So we make this three, it's still three turn clock either way, so. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is plus two, plus one for everything. It's the exact kind of deck that would have that. So. No attacks. And it's one of the few cards they couldn't have cast there, but they could foretell it, so. Alexa, what's the temperature? 36, which is actually not terrible. High of 54. That's downright comfortable. All right, we're going to five here. So we know this isn't Kaya's Onslaught because that would have killed us. Sure, that's fine. Oh my god. What what in the earth, man? One, two, three, four, five, six mana. If we get a red source, we can path. If we get a blue source, we can graven lore. If we get a removal spell, we have a removal spell. So, you know, those are the those are the uh, the possibilities. It's really sad because I don't think this is even a game if we don't actually. Oh, they're just gonna. <laughs> there you go. Good job. Cool. Seems good. Should have played. A f I couldn't play two flyers, so. <sighs> That's good times. Well, none of these cards actually do anything in that specific situation. Meanwhile, we have a uh, board wipe. We have two removal spells. We have a sacrifice two. None of them did anything. It's not looking good. I told you this deck was not going to do well. I mean, I don't feel like it's the worst deck ever, but it's definitely uh, it's definitely lacking in certain areas. Then again, yep, so yeah, alright, cool. <laughs> you know what? Sure. Keep six. Send Shadow back. Actually, we don't have a single black. This is the only double black card in our hand. Yeah, that seems fine. I don't understand why my friend tends to travel to Mythic Bombs and then has good draws during the games. How hard can it be? It's, it's it's easier than you think. Mostly it's an act of choice I, I choose. I'm like, eh, I don't feel like doing all that. Well, we're getting our getting for getting foretelling here. We can also play a Vega. Oh good. That's not gonna be problematic at all, I'm sure. It's a Yeti. 
Sun and the moon, all I want to do is win this match. I'm not going to win this match. I'm going to win this match. That was a beautiful thing. Card and one foretell card. Pass two attackers. Oh, no attacks? Holding them back. The net crashed. Man, like that 80s, like that 90s movie, The Net? I guess I don't know if it crashed in that movie. I, mean, I never saw The Net. Um, want that, don't care about that. We got one, two, three, four. Yeah, actually, that's fine, because we got the rhyme with the balls. I see. Oh, boy, we're getting... We're getting cheeky here. Fascinating. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely what we figured you had. We still get to trade, so. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we get back. Oh, nothing yet, right? Two, three. I'm going to bottom that. Do we have two black? I don't think we do. I think we're just keeping this. Fine. Skinfire Elder Hall. So we can get back a three drop. I don't actually know how they recover, though, if we literally just... One, two, three. If we just blood on the snow. I also don't think we're in any rush. Yeah, that seems fine. They have two cards in hand. My top three movies of all time, I, it's it changes regularly, but my top three, movies that stick, stick in my top three consistently are like High Fidelity, Rushmore, And I think, I mean, Django's up there. Clerks 1 will always have a, a place in my heart. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And they can put the pack mate on ice. From the corner, I guess. Got iron verdict. I do have an iron verdict. Oh yeah, Django is a fantastic movie throughout. 
every every act is fantastic. Speaking of Clerks 1, did you see the news clip that got on Earth of Kevin Smith protesting dog went back when it was in the theaters back in 99? No. Say what? Oh my god, this looks amazing. One, two, yep, nice guy. Land, good to go. Four mana, I'm just gonna play bird here. Django! Oh, you got a big bird, huh? Oh, you got a big bird, do you? Okay. Oh, you got a dead bird, do you? Okay. <laughs> well, that did it. I almost feel like Carfell Harbinger is probably fine here, just as a cheap creature that... Take out the Yeti. Turgrid Shadow kind of seems meh, surprisingly. I wonder if Dogged Pursuit's any good, just gaining a life every turn. Like, if we get to hold them back and, like, the, the life could be relevant. Also, Effigy for free on two. Let's do Effigy for free on two. Oh, uh, it's a Simic Uncommon, and it's it comes into play as a copy of something. But it's like five mana and double blue, so I'm trying to avoid it. Like, I think it's just worse than like... I mean, if we're playing one double blue card, I don't play two. This hand seems good. Turn three, pack mate. And a Skimfar Elder Hall, which is actually pretty good against them. Man, Battlefield are after every game, huh? Well, now we're going to play Augur. You got Spectral Flight on this guy every game? Here we go. Oh, just double raptor. Huh? Django. Elder Hall and Raven. And if we draw one more land, we can either play four drop or two drop. Suspend. Never not going to call it suspend. creature type you name bird now seems like a good time to play a utron in modern wide open meta well i would but i hate gut shot so it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to do you know what i'm saying <laughs> oh good how nice okay see that's what we're talking about here that's what you're talking about. So now we can just play Reaper. Mm 
now our defenses are looking pretty sweet. I mean, that's fine. Cost three to equip, right? Yeah, so they can't even equip it. Path gets us a land and lets us play Mistwalker. That's pretty good. Yeah, we definitely want to hit him here. Let's get... We have two black, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's get white. We actually have white cards that are playable. That could be relevant. No attacks. Like, we just basically hold off until they run out of cards and we command the board. Oh yeah, but also Tarantino getting Ennio Morricone for his movies is also fantastic. Like, that's that's pretty sweet. I'm a fan of that. Uh, so we can actually go Harbinger into that, or we can put Packmate put Packmate on the back burner. Um, I think we want to put Packmate away because we want to be able to draw cards, and we're not like. Yeah, this seems fine. No attacks. Sure. If you could have Terrence Hunter to remove for any franchise, what would it be? Oh, man, that's actually a good one. I think a Tarantino Star Wars would be pretty sweet because he he focuses on a lot. I mean, like Tarantino loves westerns and cowboys and gunslingers, um, and a lot of Star Wars mythology uh, has to do with that. Hmm. Let's hit a lane one time. Nailed it. Alright, we're just gonna keep passing. Like, I think we have a better top end slash end game. Probably gonna insta kill that guy because he really makes our lives difficult. Uh, kind of like both of these, to be quite honest. Um, actually, I don't think Wither Crown is as good. I do want the land, though. Because it gives us our last land needed for Path. And Path is kind of big game here. What did this guy name? Cleric? One, two... I think we just kill this with the... Yeah, let's kill it. See, again, this is like... I mean, like, we're kind of... Like, even if they give their guys plus two, plus one, like, we just have favorable blocks with Vengeful Reaper and Chump blockers. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, too, though, so I guess we're okay. I do want to hit a land here, so I'm just going to actually cast this. I think we're taking both. Okay. Well. Okay, that's probably what they're waiting for. So now it's got lifelink. No, nothing has lifelink, so that's good. Oh, that's pretty decent. 
Jason as well. So we can go one, two, three. Cast this. Keep up feed. We can also activate World Tree and kill like one of their stupid birds. I kind of just want to make sure we get rid of this thing though. <laughs> Battlefield Crafter number three. You got it. So they have two cards. We have four plus a path. I cannot imagine that we're in bad shape here. But you never know. They didn't do anything. Hmm. I mean, it still feels right. This card seems like a banger, so. Plus, I don't want to keep my mana tied up every turn. So what do we got? We got 16, they have 23. We've drawn seven more cards than they have. Unfortunately, we just have nothing that gets in there. Like, they're 3-3 three, three first striker. Like, it takes down this, this. They block this. Takes down this, 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 this. Takes down a lot of things is really the, the lesson here. I just want to kill it. I mean, is that any good? One, two, one, two, three, four. We can still pump one if we play land. Let's do that, I guess. We got the Iron Verdict. That's what I'm assuming it is. There it is. <laughs> okay. So now they have one card in hand. Put this guy aside. Oh, next. Oh, that wasn't. <laughs> okay, I guess they're just taking four. That was not our main phase. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can pump this six right now. So attack for eight. We have one card in hand, huh? I mean, this game's I, this game looks over. I don't think there's that. Oh, that's that's good. Free draw. I mean, this, this, this is going to end the game. Like, we attack for 10. They're counting our snowlands. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, we can make it 8. We can make it a 10, 10. Sure. Got he. I don't even need this right now. I just want the free card next to them, so... I mean, I think we're actually playing a little too conservative this game, but it's gonna win us the game, so I'm not gonna, not gonna complain.
Yeah, that seems fine. Last car to land. No. But maybe. You have one mana up. Uh, you have to block this with your flyer. So we attack for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I guess you don't actually have to block that now. Because you could block... It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. Alright, maybe we get... Maybe we 2-1, who knows. I feel like our deck is a little slow, but whatever. All right, let's see if we can 2-1 this bad boy. Man, see, we're on the draw. I think we're definitely keeping this. Again, we have four cards that we can foretell and one card that gets us a third land. Like, I mean, oh, what up, Sal? There are five cards left. Yep, come on, land. Oh, man, we're good at this game, but only slightly. Kind of just like path next turn to hit a third land. Because then if we get a fourth land, is that control? Yeah, that seems good. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's get a snow covered swamp em. Frank, win or lose this? I want to predict it. No, we got we get unlucky. Streamers and mods can't cast a prediction on the channel they manage. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. I feel like this like strand of hair that's hanging down makes me look like freaking Glenn Danzig over here. Oh look, see this is the problem. Four 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 four. And I don't like it. <laughs> we do need two lands, then we can blood on the snow. And probably for some amount of value as well, so. Man, Sal, how you been, buddy? I haven't seen you in ages, dude. Hopefully you're staying safe. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, that's a thing. I'm gonna get a forest here. Play it and pack mate it up. Oof. Oof. Come on, untapped land one time. Papa needs an untapped land one time. Papa's gonna. Papa's dead almost. One. Two, three, square frost. Sure. Does Papa die? Probably. 
Yep, he fucking gets crushed because his land suck assholes. That's cool. So we got an untapped land, a way to kill a grizzled outrider. And nothing else. Good times. submitting you're down 130 pounds oh my god dude what's your secret also you quit magic i don't understand oh, i get it what what oh keto and intermittent fasting intermittent fasting does actually fucking nothing for me and it's super frustrating because I'm watching like Mike B lose like 60 pounds or whatever. And I intermittent fast and I eat between like 12 and 8. And I did it for like a month and it did. I was like, oh, it's doing nothing. Cool. Oh, look, no effect. Uh, I'm going to get this because I feel like. No, we're going to get an island. I think playing Vega and Augury is probably better than playing. Actually, we can still play Poison the Cup. This is the correct choice. The problem with keto is that I don't eat a lot of meat, so it's like a really awkward diet for me where I'm just like, I guess I'll eat all cheese and lettuce. And that's not good for anybody. I mean, I guess it's good for the cheese and lettuce industry, but, you know. Oh, good. Um, wow, if we get a fourth land, that'd be super cool. Actually, that's not nearly as annoying, I guess. Oh boy. Yep, no attacks. What's the other thing? Vigilance, got it, got it. cool if it was a land out of our 17 lands but I guess I'm really asking a lot here I'm gonna put that on top I guess we'll keep both I mean it's I think it's kind of greedy when we have behold Packmate, packmate. Wait, why didn't? Oh, it doesn't get plus one, plus oh, unless it's. That's really frustrating. Oh well. Like I said, probably not winning this round anyway, my dudes. Well, not with that attitude. Sal, not much, my dude. Pretty much the same. Man, can you imagine if we had enough mana to cast blood on this now? On turn 17? Next turn we can, is what you're saying to me? You know, if we don't die. One, two, three, four, five. That actually sounds good. We can get a Vega back. Oh, that's... Oh, wait. Hold on. One, two, four, six, seven. We go to five. 
but their whole life dies? Oh man, that's... Blood on the snow, and you're to blame. If we happen to draw a snow-covered red source... Huh, yeah, this, this should seal the deal. White here, play Mistwalker. Go to Raven. Next turn we can play Alpine Meadow, and then we got enough mana to path the world tree. Well, that's obnoxious, but So now, I guess. Well, I guess we're going to game three. Wow, man. Yeah, quarantine definitely put a halt on, on magic stuff for sure. Oh, man. Can we do it? Can we live the dream? We have 17 lands, right? I feel like we're just not drawing lands. It's kind of awkward. I don't know. I think I think our deck is good. I miss Friday Night Drafts and monthly board game nights with my friends, man. I'm lucky to live with, like, both Katie and Michael because we do get to play board games. And it's, like, it's a lot easier to be quarantined with two people you, you love and care about. I mean, I can't imagine if, like, I was living by myself during quarantine because it's, like, it's either you break, like, you, you, you do shitty social distancing where you're like, I guess I'll go to a restaurant or go to a friend's house with a mask. Which is obviously not the safest thing to do. Um, or you just be alone all the time. It's definitely not ideal. The good thing is, like, all my roommates are responsible. Like, Katie goes to work and wears two masks at work. And she's also uh, getting her second vaccine in next week. Like, next Wednesday. And Michael works from home. So me and Michael are just literally home all day. And Katie's at work being super safe because she doesn't work from home. Uh, customers or anything so like she's just doing radiology stuff oh god i'm gonna i'll keep it we got a path we got a behold and a pack mate any green any blue and we get to like there you go yeah that's actually real good path can find us a blue so on turn three we can go or turn four we can go path into and never mind Now we're getting black. Now we're getting a little swamperino. Have you heard there's also mainly 85% decrease in hot? That's insane. That's such a good rate. So we're gonna go turn three pack mate, turn four path into behold. I guess they're getting four drop here. Oh, that's I guess two. Okay. Okay. Sure. 
Actually, Path into Raven seems better because we have things to do. You want to make sure you do your things before you draw more cards to give you more things to do. If you're not doing the things you have, what's the point? Shot through the heart and you're to blame. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Sure, main phase behold is always a good sign because they're not usually advancing their board. However, if they had a... If they had a... I think they're, this is probably going to be an Augury Raven because they can untap their island. Hmm. There it is. Look at that little guy. Way to go, Ravino. I mean, again, we have things to do. We have another Raven. We have a Mistwalker. Like, next turn we can go Path Mistwalker, which is pretty good. Uh, I actually don't know which vaccine Kitty got. That's interesting. I gotta ask her. I think I've driven like one time in February so far. <laughs> like I just don't have to go anywhere. It's so weird. Like we get all our groceries delivered. All our food is either delivered or we go just pick it up. Michael's usually the one who goes and picks it up because he just likes doing it. He likes getting out of the house. So. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on up to one creature. Okay. Well, I guess I'll take that. Now I'm actually curious as to which one I got. I just asked her now, so she'll have an answer, I'm sure. Um, hmm. Really? You're going to use my blue, even though Mistwalker is one of the few cards? Like, I don't have a single red or white card in my hand. But, wow, that's so weird that they're, like, prioritizing... Snowlands, they're like, keep your snowlands on tap. Wait, what's happening right now? Yeah, auto pay. Resolve. Swampery now. Submit the one. Take off the control now, boy. I, mean, I just want to draw a swamp here. Highest toughness, power. Are you sure you want to use that snow mana? Buddy, I really want you to think about it. I mean, we're definitely not blocking. I'll just take five. Not having an answer to this Augury Raven is pretty rough here. But we do have all five colors, so if we hit a s another land. I mean, Black Source, any Black Source would be perfect. We can go Black Source into Feed the Serpent, into... I guess that does help us find something. Oh, that's it. That's the ticket. Uh, no attacks. I'm actually getting in there with this guy. Like, you're probably gonna exile this with your, with your fall. 
So I might as well get the three points in. And next turn we can actually kill this guy or we can feed the serpent to this guy. I'll probably feed the serpent. This one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can feed their stupid raven. I guess we're not feeding the raven. We're feeding the raven to the serpent. Cheeseburg Strider. Seems fine. I mean, what does this do? Target opponent loses two life, deals two damage to one creature, you bear, I draw two and gain two. That seems good. Plus, it's a better use of our mana right now. Red, black, white, blue, yeah, we got it. I mean, this is a chump, this is a chump. We go to seven, and then we get to play Feed the Serpent and a four drop like a raven, so that's actually pretty good. I mean, we're also just trying to find blood on the ice as well. It is 12 to 12, I guess, so we're not actually that f far behind. Yeah, we're just taking five here. The same people who refuse to wear masks because they refuse to wear fear are the same people who won't get the vaccine because they're afraid of what's in it. They're also the same people who need to live with guns because they're afraid of being attacked. Like, it's pretty comical. Blood in the snow. Blood in the snow. Blood in the... Dang it. I would like another... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We only have two black. I guess we just feed Augury Raven, right? Again, this is a match where you just hold back because I think our card advantage is better, especially we have Graven Lord be Behold the Multiverse. I feel attacked. I'm getting both. Wait, how are you? We're getting both what? Both vaccines? You get one in each arm? I'm getting a gun so I can shoot the virus if it breaks into my house. Get out of here, virus! But now they can't attack into the auger raven which is pretty sweet yeah that's fine <laughs> you got it i mean i'll trade a, a pack mate for a bird strider a thousand percent of the time <laughs> it's actually pretty funny um one two three four five six seven eight Nine. Only two black, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is four. They do get a guy afterward, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. And we have four left over. The problem is it just gives them a really easy thing to sacrifice. I'd rather... You know what? I think... I don't think we're... I don't think we're shadow territory yet. I think we... I, I think we do keep up Graven lore. Two, three, four, five. We can also pop this in the... Okay, I'm just trying to... Nope, don't tap the blue. Okay, one of these. And one of these, I guess. Oh, 
Okay, next, next, no attacks, and a turn. All right, that seems good. We're gonna Graven Lord with Scry 3. I think that's totally fine. I'll cough COVID into my bullets so if people survive from wounds, COVID's the backup. Wow, that's biological warfare, buddy. Oh, what up, Guard Hazard? Pass to attack ours. Uh, that's great. Oh yeah, three snow boy. Oh no, no. Blizzard brawl, yes. Snow covered swamp and another another land and all the things. So one, two, three, four. Valkyrie. So we can still pump twice, we can still behold the multiverse. And we'll play it all to a fjord. No attacks in the turn. I mean they're playing Bant, so the odds of them having an answer for this are not super high. And they can bound in gold. They could fight it. But us pumping it to 6 6 seems like it's a, probably a reasonable solution. Sure. I'm actually going to put the shadow in the spot, too. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Pass to attackers. Oh, I don't want either of these to be quite honest. Um, I don't think they're doing anything for us right now. Well, these aren't either, but that's okay, I guess. Oh, poison the cup is interesting. See, that time it worked. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six mana? Seven mana. Longer. Our card advantage is whittling down here. Oh, that's a good one. Fall of the imposter, sure. And they're at virtual four here, which is good. Oh, can we actually kill them here? Hold on, one, two, three, four for the shadow. Then we have one, two, three, four. Oh, that's interesting. So are they dead? We take five and we know the exact card in your hand that you can't cast. Uh, no blocks. I think that's just the game.
Scotty. 2-1. Wow, I was not expecting it. Like, the deck seems sweet, but our mana base... Our mana base was fine. Um, our deck was a little slow, though. Yeah, I don't know why you attacked with the 2-1. I guess you are hoping I'd block and you'd get another guy from Menace, but I know your exact hand, so I'm definitely not putting myself to to not killing you so thank you guys for watching slam those like and subscribe buttons check me out at twitch.tv slash be sure to try to follow or subscribe both those things help me out a ton and uh it's a great gesture it really helps me survive i'm gonna open these open these 10 packs man not a single mythic three king narfi's betrayal though and two colvoris a pyre and a mystic two pyres two colvoris and three narfis that's probably the fucking worst 10 packs i've ever opened that's insane thank you guys for watching though i'll see you next time